How to make a quick and easy video with LumaFusion. LumaFusion lets you edit video on an iPad or iPhone with the same level of precision as a desktop PC. Let's get started. In the lower third of the screen is the projects panel. Press here to create a project. I'm going to leave the frame rate, aspect ratio, and color space options left to default. This way, the project will change settings to best match the footage I import. This is a good option if you're unsure what frame rate your camera is using. Name your project, in my case, Yosemite Forest. The project panel is now a timeline viewer. In the top left of the screen, all of the contents for my camera roll are available to edit with. And press the three dot options menu. And here is where I could link one of my cloud accounts such as Dropbox or Google Drive. But instead, I'm gonna edit media that's connected to my iPad locally. So I'm gonna pick the Files app as a source. I have the footage I'll be editing today stored on a USB flash drive and is connected to an iPad mini via the Apple Lightning to USB camera adapter kit. To import these clips, choose Select, Select All, Open. Now for this project, I'm gonna review a few clips and decide what I wanna include in my movie. Some editors prefer to throw everything in the timeline and cut down from there, but I recommend watching the clips and deciding what you wanna use. It can save time later on. Starting with the first clip, tap the film strip icon to the right of the thumbnail to load the footage and press the play icon to start reviewing the clip. I can see that this clip is 15 seconds in length, which is a bit long. So to shorten the clip, I'm gonna move about a third of the way in and press the mark in button, which looks like a left bracket. To further adjust the duration, press play to move further into the clip and press the mark out button, which looks like a right bracket. And this determines a new ending point for the footage. Press the send to timeline button to make an edit. We're gonna load another clip, same process. This shot is also 15 seconds long. So again, moving into the clip, I'm gonna mark an in point and further in, mark an out point. I could press send to timeline or click and hold the viewer and a banner icon appears and drag down into the timeline to place the clip. Pinch on the screen to zoom out on the timeline. And on this third shot, I'm really enjoying the light beams that crack through these branches. That's the exact moment I'm looking for. So I'm going to mark an in and an out point just around these light beams. Watching the edit back in, I don't like the first shot anymore. The, the sky's blowing out and you can't clearly see the mountain. So I'm gonna find another shot to replace this one with. I'm going to mark an in point and an out point, the parts of the shot I wanna put in the edit. To replace a shot, click and hold within the viewer and drag the thumbnail banner on top of the edit which we wanna replace. A dialog appears asking if we want to preserve the timing of the existing clip in the timeline or use the duration of the new clip. So in this case, I want to use the longer clip and the timing of the longer clip. So I'm going to select use new clip duration. The replacement clip is placed on the timeline and the timing of future edits is preserved. Adding titles can also be done quickly. Start by navigating the playhead to where you would like to create a title and press the add media button, the plus icon along the bottom toolbar and select overlay title. Double tap on the title event in the timeline to open up the editing tools inspector. Twirl open the text editor on the right. Double tap again on the title itself in the viewer to reveal the iOS keyboard and I can change the text. It's a little hard to read this text in the center of the frame, so click and drag the text box to freely reposition. We'll add a drop shadow to make the text a bit more clear. Scroll down in the text inspector and look for shadow properties. To add the shadow, we have to click and drag the distance slider. Then drag the blur slider and the opacity. The edit is complete and it's time to save out our video. Press the share button along the bottom toolbar and select movie. If I were saving directly on my iPad, I would choose photos or I could choose post directly to YouTube. Instead, I wanna save 
the video file back on the USB thumb drive that's connected to my iPad. So I'm going to choose share in AirDrop. I'm presented with the render settings and the default settings are a good representation of the timeline and the quality is good for streaming services. Press share from the upper portion of the panel. And I will choose save to files. And that's getting started with LumaFusion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank <laughs> you.